Assalamu alaikum. Hello my dear students, I hope you are okay. Uh, today we are going to learn vocabularies related to food arts. Food, when we talk about food, we are talking about uh, things that we eat. So the title of the text that we are going to read is From Edible to Incredible. From Edible, Edible to Incredible. Let's discover some vocabularies related to food arts. The first vocabulary that we have is edible. Is edible. What is edible? Edible means something related to food. So it is eatable. You can say eatable or you can say edible. Eatable, edible. That means something that that is means to be eaten. Okay, something that we need to eat it. We want to eat it. So it's edible. For example, can you eat paper? No, you cannot eat paper. Can you eat a car? <laughs> it's very stupid. No, it's impossible. It's not edible. It's not edible. Can you eat pillow? Also, no, it's not edible. So, all the things that are delicious, all the things that we can eat, they are edible or eatable. Next vocabulary, we have incredible. 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 What is incredible? Wow, what is this? It's a cow. But it's not a normal cow. It is a flying cow. A flying cow, like Superman. This is super cow. Okay, so it is incredible. Incredible. It means unbelievable. It's something that we cannot believe. It's impossible. So we cannot think about it. Our brain can't take it. So it's incredible. It's unbelievable. Let's move on to the next vocabulary. We have crave. 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 What is crave? So the word crave uh, has two meanings. Has two meanings. So the first meaning, look at the picture. Oh, here is a lady. She is very hungry and she loves. She loves that thing. She loves the food. So let's see. So the first meaning of crave is to desire, to desire something very much. So it's crave, I crave. Good. Then we have the next vocabulary is sculptor, sculptor, sculptor. What is sculptor? Sculptor means, oh, it's the second meaning of craving, to crave. Sculptor is to crave. What is to crave again? Look at this man, what is he doing? What is this first? Ah, it's a pumpkin. Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. So he is drawing, he is sculpting. Okay, he is sculpting the pumpkin. Great. Let's see here. What is this? Ah, it's eggplant. It's food. Okay, it's vegetable. It's vegetable. So, it's sculptor. They sculpt an egg pig. They turned an egg pig, uh, sorry, an, an eggplant, an eggplant into an animal. Good. Here we go. Here we have a pot. So it's a cabbage. Cabbage. It's vegetable. Okay. Look here. What is this? It's broccoli. Broccoli. Uh, it was sculpted, sculpted into into a, a, tre a tree and a house. Great. Sculpture. Sculpture. Craving. Next word, we have one of a kind. Wahidun min Faridun min One of a kind. Let's see here. One of a kind means unique. Unique. Here we have a picture of a, a reverse waterfall. Shalal wa waterfall. So reverse waterfall. What is reverse? Uh, as you can see, الشلال يتجه بالعكس لا ينحدر ولكن يذهب إلى الفوق الماء يصعد إلى فوق so it's a reverse waterfall so what is it? it's in England so it is unique it's one of a kind we don't have it in Morocco it doesn't exist in France it doesn't exist in America so it's only in England so it is one of a kind it's unique then we have the word state fair 
state fair. What is state fair? A state fair is an annual competitive and recreational gathering. Alors, هو واحد واحد ال ال واحد احتفال ولو حتى جمع سنوي اللي كتكون فيه مسابقات وفيه الناس كي تجمعوا تبينوا ال ال المنتوجات ديالهم. Let's see here. Huh? So fair. نقدر احنا كنسموه لا فوار. So it's fair. It is a fair. Good. A state fair. State fair. Annual event. Annual means year. Annual سنوي. Annual event. What is event? Event means occasion. Occasion. For example, Ramadan. Ramadan is an event. It's an annual event. It comes only once a year. Ramadan is an annual event. So it's an annual event. Annual event. It's an occasion. For example, Eid Kabir. It's an annual event. It comes only once a year. For example, Mother's Day. I love you, Mom. So it's Mother's Day. So it comes only once a year. Good. Then we have the vocabulary melt, 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 melt. What is melt? Melt means to liquefy. To liquefy. Do you know liquid? The word liquid, like water, like coffee, okay, like tea. So it's liquid. So the verb is to liquefy or to melt. Look here. Uh, it's an ice cream, so it it melts. Uh, it melts. Uh, good. Then we have sense of humor. Sense of humor. Or we can say also sense of fun. Sense of fun. Ruh du'aba. Sense of humor. Sense of fun. And now let's move on to our text. So from edible to incredible. Edible. Now you know what is edible? Edible means it's something to eat. Incredible. It's something unbelievable. Good. So look at the picture. What do we have here? It's a dinosaur. Okay, it is a dinosaur, but it is not a normal dinosaur. It is a man with a hat. Look at his mouth and his clothes. You see? So it's all food. Look at his fingers. They are carrots. You see? So it's art. Art. Food art. Let's read the text. Take a look at Jim Vector's amazing photo. What can you see? A car, a dinosaur, a farmhouse, a strange looking man. Look closer, because Jim has created these using real food. Jim Vector is an American sculptor, artist and teacher. He craves beautiful sculptures from various food items, including butter and chocolate. He also creates special one-of-a-kind creations from fruits and vegetables, such as, such as broccoli, carrots, pumpkins, cabbage, and potatoes, for state, fair, and festival all over the USA. Victor, Victor's sculpted creations are the star attraction at many American annual events such as Green Fist and Chocolate Fist and also at farm shows across the country. Making these sculptures isn't as easy as it may seem though. In fact, Victor says that it is very difficult working with chocolate and butter because they melt, they melt very quickly. So Victor works in a low temperature room. Sometimes it takes days to finish one of his huge sculptures. Victor enjoys his work and manages to keep a sense of humor about it. After all, as he says, it's his bread and butter. Are you hungry for more? Why not visit Jim's website? It's good enough to eat. Let's visit the website, okay? Let's visit the website. Here we go. So this is the, the website of Jim Victors. Look what he, what, 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 what he did. 
in 2010 he has he has created a liberty statue or statue of liberty from chocolate and he created this cow riding a bike he made a bike out of chocolate again look here butter he made this people from butter he pictures New York from cheese and chocolate and here we have mixed food media okay so uh, that was uh, all about food art if you have any question please contact me revise the vocabulary and you can go directly to page number 56 do the exercise take care of yourself bye bye salam alaikum إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة